back to the tactical show friends got something pretty special for you today beautiful axe I got here this is the Grandford Brooks small forest axe now, I've been hesitant to test this thing because it is freaking beautiful <laughs> so yeah I uh, usually can find them for if you can a good price is 120 bucks but I've seen them go for even into the 200s which is just insane comes with a nice leather sheath even the snaps got their symbol I thought that was cool it's kind of classy very well done very high quality leather sheath take it out of the sheath Go over the technical specs on this overall length they say it's a 19 inch this one's like 19 and a quarter uh, the weight of the head is one and a half pounds the blade length is three and a quarter inch uh, the weight I couldn't find it but there you go beautiful hickory handle now I've treated this with boiled linseed oil I think seven times <laughs> yeah just trying to protect it you know what I'm saying give you a nice shot of the symbol this thing is so freaking beautiful it really is now, these are hand forged and fitting yeah there's the the maker's mark right there as and let me tell you what out of all the axes that I have this thing is ridiculous sharp everybody says oh an axe ain't supposed to be sharp well you guys can tell uh, Gransford Brooks how to make their axes then because this thing is ridiculous it is just like a freaking folding knife it's that damn sharp now let's see how sharp this thing actually is I'll try to be wow I am pushing so light man I knew this thing was ridiculous look at that I'm just being ultra nice you could freaking skin an animal with this damn thing it's that sharp try burying it a little bit oh yeah yeah see that's what I'm talking about man a sharp axe I like that I could tell it was and holy crap yeah you can just see how freaking sharp this is now take a look at the grain structure nice and straight even uh, very tight as well it's got that up there to help hold the wedge in I forget the name of those things but before I test this I'm gonna protect the neck so I don't screw it up next we'll do some splitting see how this goes uh, I looked at the geometry of this it's a little bit thinner than the Wetterlings backcountry axe so that probably means it's gonna chop better but I still think it's gonna split good I uh, don't mind that snow plow in the back it's amazing you can hear that out here and I'm like three miles from the road and you can still hear a plow truck but anyways this is about a six and a half inch piece I just cut so this might be kind of tough let's give it a whirl holy crap wow that was easy <laughs> damn I didn't think it was just gonna do that because that's actually a decent sized piece here again oh, shit. Wow. Got a little bit bigger piece right here that's about a seven inch piece this was like the base of a pine tree oh shit man I'm really surprised because this thing don't have a lot of mass or nothing but it's just freaking sharp as hell man, you don't even got to do a full swing you can just do like a little pop. Here, I'll try it. Wow, I, you seen that little jab. That's insane. Finish off these last couple pieces. I'm gonna do this one hand and see how easy this really is. Wow, I mean, I just like pop. And that was it. And it's not that cold out here. It's about, you're actually kind of warm today, like 25, something like that. Oops technical difficulties everything's slippery it's got ice all over it just finish this last piece if I can get her to stand up same thing just a one-handed little pop damn I mean wow I'm impressed next we do the 10 chop test now 
this log is covered with an inch of ice, of course. Uh, so you got to give it a little slack for that. Just you got to bust through the ice first. But we'll do 10 chops and see how it goes. Friggin' hitting hard, holy shit, look at that guys. That is some deep penetration. Now, just to give you a close up, this is about nine, 10 inch log. But look at the cut. Look at how friggin', man, that is like ultra smooth. It's almost like somebody sanded it. It just cut that friggin' clean. That's amazing, man. This is definitely the sharpest ax I've ever had. And just as a comparison, I know there's ice in it, but that's what the wetterlings did uh, the last time I tested it, the backcountry axe. And that thing was incredible, but check this out. That compared to, yeah, oh my god, it chops even better than the wetterlings. So far out of all the axes I've used, this chops the best. Man, I love you. Oh, we're back. Hey. <laughs> now, I know that was just a short test. But man, this thing is the shit. It's the cat's, cat's ass. Cat's ass. It's the cat's ass. You know what I'm trying to say, right? Look at the edge on there. Man, this thing is just, it's stupid sharp. And it's just as sharp as it was. Whatever Swedish steel they're using, I mean, in the fit and finish, the, the quality, the time, the effort... You know, that's why I didn't even really want to use the damn thing, because this is hand forged, you know, this is the real deal. This ain't a freaking crappy Gerber or damn Astwing or something like that, or even some damn cold steel. This thing is awesome. It really is. 120 bucks, pfft, no problem. I'd easily spend that again. Uh, for me personally, maybe not for you, but for me, I'd easily spend $150 on this without blinking an eye, especially knowing what it does now in the fit and finish. So you know I'm totally recommending this, right? Man, how can you not? I mean, the shape of the handle, it's perfect. The size, now I carried this for about three hours, just walking around. I'm doing that with every ax now. Every ax I'm testing, I'm also walking around with it on my pack and in my hand, switching it around, seeing if it's pain in the balls. And this thing was the best I've carried so far. I mean, you barely even know it's there. Even when it's in your hand, it's so small and light. You know? It's, it's like having a little hatchet, but with a lot more power. You seen what it did to that damn log? Holy shit! I mean, I'm just blown away by this thing. So I gotta say, this is the best axe I've ever had. Best axe I've ever used. You know, I haven't used a ton, but I've used like 8, 10 different axes. Well, more if you count full-size axes, but packable-size axes, about 8 or 10. And this thing blows them all out of the water. This thing is the best axe I've ever freaking had. And I do love it, man. It's just beautiful. It works awesome. It fits good. It carries freaking great. So 1 to 10. You guys always wonder, what do I give a 10? I give this a 10. This thing is fucking perfect. And I totally love it. And if you ain't got one of these or you ever you never tried one, oh my god. If you can get your hands on one, none of the axes will look the same after you use this damn thing. Thanks for stopping by. And until the next time we meet.